Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the monthly map reading. This is for the month of October and for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Guys, please excuse my voice. I'm down with a very bad cough and cold along with fever but well as my friend said the show must go on and the show is going on and precisely that's the reason why even though i have like a frog sitting in my throat i'm still going to go ahead and do your readings so thank you friend and you know who you are all right getting back to the reading guys please remember these are general readings times fluid so even if i say it's october it might have already happened what you see here or it's about to happen or you're in the middle of it or somebody else is going through that because sometimes cards pick up energy of your loved one and not directly yours so keeping all of that in your mind please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive if you're here for the first time welcome aboard welcome to my channel and for those who have come back thank you so very much welcome back gemini's we are ready let's roll let us see from which energy we are starting kicking off october where do we start very nice energy is here gemini's temperance and nine of pentacles very balanced very happy with yourself this is very me energy very happy where you are not really bothered about whatever is going on outside because you feel very calm inside very balanced inside of course lots of shit's going on outside but inside you're like it's okay Om. it's a very ohm sense that i'm getting What's more for my Gemini spirit? That's a good place to start though, clearly. Let's see. Three of Pentacles. People you're working with. You're not sure whether you should continue working with them or you should part ways and be on your own. Parting ways might cause heartache. Probably that's why you are unsure. But just thinking of that is bringing a lot of emotions up. But being in the situation as well is not giving you the sense of freedom. You do not want to think about this anymore. You do not want to deal with this anymore. So outside, it seems like there is confusion, but somehow inside, as I said, no matter whatever is happening outside, there's a sense of Zen, there's a sense of Om, calm. Because it seems outside, there's a lot of jumbled energies, I feel. Page of Wands. Yeah, inside you are ready to break through and get going on your own way. I think more than you, they are the ones because of whom there is this sense of confusion or I don't know how to do it. Yeah, that's the thing. You know what to do. You do not know when and how to do to deliver whatever this ending is in the least painful manner to them because you know that when this when they will get to know that this is coming to an end they will feel bad but you are already spreading your wings for something new and inside you feel a sense of calm knowing that you have a new beginning waiting Look, I'm telling you, there is a new beginning waiting for you. Fool coming in. You know. You know what you want to do. You just do not know how to break this news to them. You have been working on whatever this new thing is since quite a while. And now it is time for you to get to the next step. Here, there is a lot of pain. 
there is a lot of pain they regret not or they will eventually regret whenever you're going to break this news or those who have already you know delivered the bad news to them they feel uh, you know a complete sense of loss here now remember this energies could be reversed so who knows it could be this you and them being already on you know a way to a new path but i feel this more like your energy but again as i said energies can be reversed there is one side of this entire scene who's feeling a lot of pain a lot of confusion a lot of grief a lot of sense of loss and there is another one who's like i'm all set to spread my wings and get going look this is this is for yourself what you are doing is is for your happiness for your dreams for your wishes and you feel this is the right way to go about it because whatever that you were engaged in wasn't really bringing you much as much as you felt it promised this could be somebody walking out of a relationship guys i'm sorry for those who are feeling this pain Two more spirit to close this energy cycle, please. Five of cups. What about this energy? What about this side? Give me more for this side, please. Yeah, they feel very closed off. They feel very left out. Because for them, this was like everything. But remember, after 10, the cycle completes. Oh, that's a shame. It just feels like to them, they were not ready to let go of you. But you were already detached. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm, devil. We have the devil as over all energy. Now, when this three of swords came out, I did not want to say, though a part of me did want to, but I did not want to somehow, you know, stupid mind sometimes comes in between. That it's a third party situation. And probably you have kids with this person. Or there are kids involved in the scene because I see kids here. There's a little girl right there. And there's a little girl right here too. Oh my God, this is painful for whosoever is on this side of the fence. I'm sorry guys, I feel your pain. I feel your confusion as to why, what happened? We were trying to work on it. I think somebody had already hung the boots before even giving it a shot. Or while you thought that you are still trying to work upon it, you know, and fix things, somebody hard and hard had already given up. Now, whether it's you, Gemini, or whether it's the other party, I don't know, but one of the sides gave up before you know it kind of came out that they had given up and they are already looking because you were slowly working on your way out and they were still thinking that they are working with you you were already on your own in your head let's clarify this got intense very fast Temperance spirit. Let's clarify temperance, please. Temperance is clarified by high priestess and four of wands. Look at that. Another little girl right here. I really am taken again and again to a couple with a girl involved, a little girl. There is a little girl involved. Your intuition told you to get out of it. It seems like whatever this connection was, clearly 
ye, there were responsibilities here. I do not know how strong the foundation of this relationship was. For your inner peace, for your inner balance, you had to listen to your intuition. You had to listen to your intuition. Wow, look at that. I was not really expecting this. With the star temperance and the nine of pentacles, I wasn't expecting this to be so intense. Suddenly, I feel, you know, a heartbreak. I feel that you feel this pain too, but heart in heart, you are at peace. In the outside, there is a lot of chaos going on. But from the inside, you are better off on your own. You feel that heart in heart. Yes, your intuition tells you or told you already that it's time. Nine of pentacles. No, I'm told go to the three of pentacles pentacles here because clearly yeah somebody was trying to make things work there were options given or put on the <coughs> I'm sorry options were put on the table you guys were talking but there's a tricky energy here I do not know whether this energy as sad as they feel are they being truly in it like or they are just throwing things on the table for the sake of options being there i'm not sure about that now it's not that they don't feel the confusion and the pain my thing is that as much as they are showing that they are in it trying to work through things are they really or are they just pretending <coughs> do they really want to put in the effort or they're just pretending to put in the effort to work and you're like I'm already gone nine of pentacles spirit let's clarify the nine of pentacles look you took the cup life gave you a chance and you took it Because for long, you did brood about what you deserve, what you could have had, what you should have had, but you did not have. And universe gave you a chance. You took it. And that chance was you on your own. That left them confused in their head. That left them in the dilemma. Like, what? You're going? Uh, but we were trying to work it out. Yeah, but... but uh, yeah, you're like, I am not giving, you know, some half-ass effort. I am not putting some half-ass effort into something that is already bringing everyone involved so much of pain. And heart in heart, I know what's up. You are tricking yourself along with everybody around. I feel somehow that devil energy and this this magician's energy somehow very aligned it's just crazy the first time i've noticed that they look almost the same magician looks like the older version of the devil jeez look ten of cups right there so clearly lots and lots of big promises were made let's see what this two of swords is all about guys i'm so sorry i'm coughing so much <coughs> <coughs> let me grab some water all right two two of swords comes along with the ace of swords in the reverse they are not clear at all as to how is it possible that you are walking away like they cannot uh, comprehend it at all like they were the ones to walk away I hear they were the ones who were supposed to walk out of this not you Ooh, 
Ooh, more than ooh. Oh, this is nasty. Oh, whatever this energy is, very nasty. It's very tricky. It's making everyone around you feel like I'm doing all I can. I'm giving all options. I'm putting everything on the table. I'm trying to work through things. I'm giving it all. No. Oh, that's a tricky, tricky business here. Clearly now I see why you are so calm and you are so much at peace being on your own. And they are left confused because you took the first step. You took that cup and you're like, I am out. That is the reason now they are all in their head. <clears throat> oh. Oh, this is getting interesting. Three of swords. Three of swords. This feels like more like a, a hit on the ego. You hit them on their ego. Two of swords. Look, they are confused. They're like, uh, wait a minute. Uh, but we were still talking. Yeah, I mean, what's the point? If this is done to show everybody, if it's just another trick of yours, then what is the point? You really left them really jumbled in their head. And probably it's like, you know, realizing what they are losing or what's slipping out of their hand, whether it's the opportunity to belittle you or whether they realized your worth, whatever that is, or the mix of both. They are feeling that pinch. You are all set with that page of wands up in the air, ready to take that leap. Page of wands, spirit. Yeah, look at that. You are bringing balance to your life, yourself, your inner self. Justice with that king of sword. And they were not expecting you to be as cutthroat and as slick. The way you slice them off from your life, they were not expecting this because you want to work yes three of pentacles right there you want to put in the efforts you want to force things through the fire but this time it's for you if you are gonna put in the effort then it better show results and it's for your freedom it's for your sake it's all self-work self-development my god Gemini's this is a very strong energy you're coming out to be very very strong here beautiful Beautiful I mean we, we are wrapping this cycle with your energy the lovers here. So yeah Let's go to the No, I'm told go to the fool let let this energy sulk for a while <laughs> Your angels are like, no, no, let them be. Yeah, they deserve it for a while. Let them. Let's focus on this side. Okay, I will then. The fool, four of swords and eight of cups. Look, you are definitely moving away from this. Eight of cups is turning your back towards a brighter future that you are doing. Four of swords is finally getting that break from a lot of heartache a lot of pain we have the three of swords here with one sword lying here this is for you that breakthrough from this terrible situation terrible painful very very nasty situation it's a very tricky energy i feel that you stumped actually <laughs> that's the reason they are really kind of uh, more than angry, they are just shocked as to what? You did not even give me the time to take my next step. It's like, you know, them losing a game in chess. You checkmated them before they could even interpret, you, you know, or think about their next move. 
it was clean bold this is giving you quite a peace this new start it is beautiful <coughs> you know it's gonna be a slow move you know it's gonna be something that is gonna take time to reach your goals to reach your dreams but you're very determined to do that knight of pentacles six of cups you might just choose to be on the path of something that you had thought for so long that you wanted to do but you could not do because of this energy's presence in your life and you're going back to it slowly but surely or you're going back to who you were nine of cups nine of cups look three of wands right here yeah you are ready to be on that boat and sail away be on that ship for a long long voyage for a long journey you are ready to take that leap you're ready to surrender yourself to the lord look this is opening up of the heart chakra this is letting go this is like you know where is this high priestess here look at this taking me to the high priestess this is really believing in yourself listening to your inner voice your instinct your higher self and allowing your angels to guide you further towards your dreams and you are ready for it yeah now we have to address them as well spirit come on now they are not liking this energy whichever energy that you have been engaged with that you are you know cutting yourself away from the angels are not liking this energy somehow like i have to ask them we have to clarify this we have to finish the reading yeah it's a very uh, how do i say unwelcome energy somehow it's a very tricky energy it's a very manipulative energy i hear but at this point in time they are the one who are grieving they are the one who's feeling the loss they are the one who are feeling the pinch of you walking away or are they are they showing this to the world that they are grieving and behind closed doors they are just clinking glasses and having some fun with their friends I'm taken to that three of swords that three of cups that somebody cheating on you or someone was definitely cheating on someone i feel and to the world they show oh my god they are so so heartbroken that there is a sense of complete loss of everything their life but behind closed doors they are actually rejoicing this my god what a sneaky bastard whosoever this is very very sneaky rat energy no wonder angels are not like oh my god Ew. ten of pentacles i'm not sure whether this is their energy or your energy let's see what that is let's see when the clarifier comes out Ten of Pentacles, Spirit. Please clarify the Ten of Pentacles here. Sun. Beautiful. And the Three of Swords. Oh my God. Whatever this is, it has brought you a lot of pain. Yes. But you're better off. You know that you are better off without them. And it seems that there is a family, a ready-made family waiting for you somehow. It really feels like there is some kind of a ready-made family waiting. Or there's somebody, I mean, I do not know whether it's a, it's, it's a, it's a mother and, and daughter situation or a father and daughter situation or a man is coming in. Yeah. <coughs> 
this but this definitely is some kind of a ready-made situation which brought you a not this situation but the situation that we were earlier in brought you a lot of pain but it was for your highest good i hear it was for your highest good it was something fair for you to learn probably some karmic connections that had to be dealt with some karmic lessons that had to be learned the hard way but you are shining brightly now Gemini, as we have a uh, sun, this could be a Leo that is involved in this situation. I don't know whether it's this side of uh, the whole thing, you know, this side of the reading that involves Leo, though I don't really see much of fire here. But this could be that someone is after a lot of agony is finally coming to a point where they can truly enjoy love and life and wealth and abundance we also have 333 three, three. i'm sorry i'm losing my voice so i was saying we have 333 three, three. please look into that number and three another three here there is a message for some people there for sure and let us clarify the lovers the last one the lovers spirit please clarify the lovers seems like this connection that is coming in afterwards or where you are moving towards is something really really beautiful after a long long uh, gray dark zone it feels like you know the sun is finally shining brightly on somebody which is beautiful queen of swords somebody is not happy about this connection someone is finding some connection okay and which is absolutely beautiful it's like almost instantaneously it's very i feel you know souls are connected is just so beautiful but somebody is not happy about it somebody's cold shouldering somebody now i do not know whether it is your energy gemini's this definitely is you but is it you? I'm not sure actually here. I just feel that there is this feminine energy who has truly found the love that she deserves, I hear. But somebody is not happy about it. And kids are involved, so yeah, six of pentacles. This connection it seems and whatever you have done or whosoever's energy that you know the cards have somehow landed up picking up but whatever this is at the end is gonna bring in a lot of balance back in life that's for sure because life was not balanced at all you found balance inside you found a way out it was not easy to find that way because to be in that kind of a dark zone and still be able to connect to your intuition it's tough it's through a lot of prayers so you must be at a very very dark spot to be praying so much to be able to you know connect with your intuition and finally take the lord's hand take that chance that came out of nowhere that you were not expecting and boom you're out you're so happy you're trying to find you know that new start you're trying to find that balance you're trying to work through things and you finally got that break from all this bullshit but the bullshit carries on this is such a tricky tricky energy that i am picking up here oh my god nasty little rat this person is showing the world how you know heartbroken this person is how confused you have left this person how in the dark this person is but 
Oh my god, this person is rejoicing and having fun. Jeez. Oh my god. And I see the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords there. So, yeah, for some this is separation. This is the only couple in the tarot that is separated. Angel of Strength. My god, this angel has given you so much of strength. I feel there's a Leo involved here. With this card and the sun, it fell on this card and then my attention went to the sun again. Or you might have Leo on your chart, who knows? Or some fire in your chart because of the fool and I was taken again and again to this bow and arrow and this is also a sign of Sagittarius. So it's just taking me again and again to fire. So either you have fire on your chart or there is somebody on your mind who has fire in their charts well if you have maybe go watch leo as well whenever that comes up yours is the first one that i'm starting with angel of strength this angel has been really standing right behind you giving you all the strength you needed to come out of this very very dark very very low vibe situation wow beautiful let me read this out for you guys personal power and inner strength this amazing angel brings the news that this is a time of increasing power for you it's not the time to be passive or submissive but to speak your truth and take action on your own behalf which you did right here you know king of sword is somebody who doesn't sugarcoat things and you took the action you work through things you know to move towards this new beginning you are capable of taking greater control and directing your own destiny for the power that comes from within reaches out to the universe and beyond inner strength and unlimited resourcefulness flow through you at this time helping you create real results call upon this wonderful angel and on your own inner resourcefulness to bring you the focus and resolve to do what's necessary in order to make your dreams a reality focus on your dreams love not on this low vibe energy this low vibe energy can celebrate as much as they want to at the end of the day they are going to be you know wherever they want gonna be god bless them as well but you focus on your beautiful loving connections your dreams your son your inner strength that's going to take you long so god bless you gemini's on that note i'm going to take your leave i thank you all for joining me it's a wrap namaste from the land of god